kill team trainer. I, I try not to think about that too much. I'm very nervous. I saw some videos on YouTube about it, about the rowing on a boat and going on the ice. It's uh, challenging. It takes you out of your comfort zone. It doesn't have much to do with basketball skill, but it has everything to do with team, communication, leadership, discipline, getting past fatigue. Those are all things that obviously help you on the court. On a team, how many people does it take to win? Everybody. Uh, guys, by the way, you don't get a second chance. You guys got your first game of the year. When you go back to the locker room, you can't go back and play that game again. You want to win everything the first time, every time. So you want to sound like, be like champions in everything that you do. It's okay to be tired. It's okay to be tired. It is not okay to quit. Are there any quitters on this team? No. If you don't echo commands, you are a quitter. If you don't do things exactly right, you are a quitter. Attention to details. 15, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, I'm fired up. They didn't know what to expect, and they say anticipation of death is worse than death itself, which is one of the reasons why we like to do cons uh, consecutive days where they get to go home and think about it. Oh no, we got to come back again tomorrow. Uh, but uh, I think they did well. I mean, it was a really fun group. I can't wait to see them tomorrow. They say the only easy day was yesterday in Navy SEAL training, so tomorrow will be tougher. They say we like it. We like it. We love it. We love it. We want some more of it. We want some more of it. You guys ready to get after it? Oh yeah. yeah. Raise your hand. An honest team is a better team. If you're a little bit nervous about being 15 feet underwater, arms crossed, looking up at the bottom of the boat. If you're a little bit nervous about that, put your arms up. There was a little anxiety for me, my my, my first time going through it, uh, because we spent a lot of time in the water. And I'm not a swimmer. I'm just, I'm just not a swimmer. One, two, One, three. Oh, oh, three. Let's go. Let's go. No handles. Paddle vertical. Hold it. Hold it. I'm gonna be in the front giving instructions. Ready? Okay. Remember, yeah. right brother day. Yeah. That's gonna be you right there. Left brother's gonna be there. Okay. Okay. Guys, as long as we're together, we'll, 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 we'll go good. Okay. Three, three, four, four, two, two, three together. What we want to do is get them comfortable being uncomfortable. Some of them, you know, college kids don't get up this early. So it's outside their comfort zone. Rolling around in the sand, some people don't want to get dirty. Outside their comfort zone. Carrying heavy weight, communicating, works as a team. The more adversity we can throw at them, the more they're going to grow up. Pedal, 
Pedal hip, then you'll single file. Count off right behind me on the right side of the boat. Pedal to the red, life vest. You gotta take the life vest off first. One, two, three, hurrah! I'm in place. You guys, let's go, let's go, let's go. We can go, let's go. Day two, we made some progress. You guys responded well to the train today. We had several people honestly said they were uh, fearful of the water. But did you let that fear stop you? I have a lot of respect for people who have fear, but they go forward anyway. I have a hard time with being cold. I, I, I never would have made it in the, in the Navy SEALs. The ice boat is a boat that they fill up with ice and you kind of have to maneuver your way through it. The ice boat's tough. It's frigid. It's frigid. Go, go, go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. When I actually dove in for the first time, it was like I forgot how to breathe. I think I was in shock, so I had to gather myself for two or three seconds and I had the courage to uh, just dive back in. Well, number one, I hope they had fun. You know, it's a long year, and when you're training the same way over and over and over again, it can get monotonous. So hopefully this was a little bit of a break from monotony. In addition to that, hopefully we built uh, a level of uh, mental toughness, teamwork, leadership. Guys had to step up. Some guys got exposed at times. And uh, that's what the team's all about, and that's what making progress is all about. You'd have to be a blind person or a deaf person or something not to see that this team took a step. I mean, these guys I didn't take shortcuts. We worked on three days, no shortcuts, attention to detail, echoing commands, and being leaders, being an active leader that's looking around, keeping an eye on your people, even if you're tired. Something new, uh, something I'm not used to, um, I'm a freshman, so it's not something I'm coming from back in Michigan, uh, going in cold boats and uh, up at five in the morning. So it's definitely something new, but uh, I really enjoyed the experience. It's basically telling us, you know, you need your brother uh, for war. So it's like, when you go out in the game, you need him. This year, we just really want to depend on our brother. Uh, we don't. We don't want to have anybody feel like they have to do it all by themselves. We want to utilize all our assets and just really bond together.